It's Alan Mucholi here, and holy moly, it's been way too long since I last used my full name in an introduction, but that's Welcome back to NASCAR 14, where we are getting ready to race at, ugh, Pocono. This track is one of the tracks that is the bane of my existence in this game. That's not an, that's not an exaggeration, that's Anyway, last time out we played NASCAR 14, I won at Dover International Speedway, my home track. First ever win that I have ever filmed or streamed, ever. Like, it was amazing. It, it was glorious. Anyway, as always, AI difficulty 60%, practice and Tower and fuel use times one, caution and black flag. And I was born in a new look. As you can see, I redesigned my K-Love car to look more like an actual K-Love car. So as you can see, we also have lost uh, American Ethanol and McDonald's. But we did get a new sponsor in Caterpillar. Which means I know what you all are thinking. How long is it going to be before we see the Ward Burton car? <laughs> and the answer to that is, stay tuned because that might actually become a reality. Anyway... We'll be back after practice and qualifying. So I'll see you guys on the other side of this one. All right. Hi. Hello. I'm back, and I'm starting 43rd in this field. Yeah, qualifying really wasn't that great. But while I was away, I did update the K-Love logo, like, probably for the third time. It's not accurate to the actual K-Love logo, but I just love how it looks. Anyway, let's go take a look at those top 10 starters, shall we? Um, Let's just do that real quick. Here we are. So, Clint Boyer starts on the pole position. Dale Jr. starts second. Greg Biffle starts third. Casey Kane starting fourth. Tony Stewart starts fifth. Denny Hamlin starts sixth. Jeff Gordon starting seventh. Eighth place, Brad Kozlowski. Ninth, Matt Kenseth. Martin Truex Jr. rounds out the top ten. Okay, I have a strategy that I'm going to try and play in this race. If it doesn't work, I don't know what will. So, either way, let's go! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Just, oh, boy. 32 laps to try and figure this track out, which means I have 32 different ways to try and screw up. And welcome to Long Pond, Pennsylvania, here at the Pocono Raceway for the Pocono 400. We'll be back at Pocono in six races time, I swear. Anyway, we got 43 cars ready to go in this race. As you see, Clint Boyer's car. Now they're showing Dale Jr.'s car because he's starting second. There's Greg Biffle. And Casey Kane starts fourth with Tony Stewart rounding out the top five starting positions. There you see the parachuters coming down. And there you see the, you see the blue they're out in the back. Yeah, that's me. All oh, the way back there in 43rd. All right, well, here we go. There's the race winner's trophy for this, for the winner here at Pocono, which should be interesting. I'm not going to get that trophy, but I'm going to try my best. All right, there you see. Oh, man, I love the logo. Not accurate, but like I said, love it. All right, Dale Jr. No, Clint Boyer and Dale Jr. will lead us to the green flag. Base cars in. And green flag is in the air, and away we go. We are racing at Pocono.
off turn number three, completing the first lap. I'm actually racing for 41st as Dale Jr. leads the way as I somehow got 40 seconds away from Landon Castle on the start. How did that happen is beyond me. Oh, slightly tight, washed up the racetrack a little bit, but got to run off one, closing down on Yaley. Oh my gosh, I just took 41st away. How? Well, let's go after Rudiman now, because I can actually take 40th. Maybe I got a car I can compete with. Maybe. Oh, nope. I don't want anything to do with that. Uh oh, oh dear. Watching out the racetrack. Watching out the racetrack. Ow! That's gonna hurt. Jeff Gordon leading the way right now. Okay, am I trying to pass Josh Wise or Joe Nemechek? Or is it my... Okay, that's Josh Wise I'm trying to pass now. All right, let's go get him. All right. I got a half second between me and Wise. Meanwhile, I've just left uh, JJ Ailey and Landon Castle in the dust. Oh, they're washing out the racetrack again. Ah! Oh, the good news is I kept it off the wall that time. All right, let's see if I can get wise in this out of this one, out of the 40th spot, and I can actually start working my way through to the top 30. Never mind. Yeah, I'm not worried about winning. I know I'm not going to win at this race. But like I said, I have a strategy I'm going to play. And if it works, somehow, some crazy way, I win this race, I'm going to do that again in the next Pocono race. And hope to God, no, the AIs don't catch, the AI doesn't catch on to my plan. And when they do catch on, I'm going to be bummed. Okay, let's see here. Okay, whoa, whoa, okay. All right, that let Josh Wise get away a little bit, but not by much. I'm still right on him. And a good run off turn three. Hey, Josh Wise, how you doing? Don't do your inside. Don't mind me. Just, you know, casually passing you for, th for 40th. Oh, nope, not quite yet. But yeah, I, got, I actually have a stretch of some good tracks coming up for me. Um, I'm good at Kentucky. Um, I'm hit and miss at Sonoma, but actually I do good at when I'm good at Sonoma. I'm like on point. I have like a win, a top five. I, actually, I think I have two wins in, in there at, Pocono, at Sonoma. I mean, uh, Michigan's coming up. I have two wins at Michigan. I'm good there. Um, Indianapolis is coming up. I have a win there. Whoa, okay. Washed up onto the outside. Still past Josh Y somehow as he goes down pit road. Alright, okay. Meanwhile, Dale Earnhardt Jr. is leading. Alright, I got a 1.2 second gap between me and Landon Castle. So that's good. Now let's go after David Rudiman. Oh, no, shit. Ah! Ow. Spotter be like, hey, I saw that. And that just let Landon Castle catch right up to me. Well, I was trying to straighten myself out. Ah, okay, going onto the rubble strips was a bad idea. And it let Rudiman get away from me. Ah, damn it. Okay, go, 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 go. Okay, side by side with Landon Castle. He, he got into me. But I was able to hold on to 40th, so that's something. All right. All right, my plan here is simple. Okay, Landon, Landon, buddy. 
Okay, he wants the spot. He can have the spot. I'm about. To, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna bite the bullet here in pit. So here we go. Okay, going down pit road. Okay, don't speed. 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 Damn it! Damn it! They're gonna get me for speeding. All right. Four tires. Repair the car. Splash of fuel. Add right side rubber. Go down on wedge just to tighten the car up a little bit. I should have upped the track bar as well. Just to offset the uh, the balance. Just to offset the adjustment I made there. This was intentional, actually. But I don't think it's going to work because I, I was nabbed for speeding on pit road. Can't fault me for taking a gamble. If I somehow don't get nabbed for speeding, I'll be impressed. Okay, I'm a lap down. Okay, go. And I'm back on the track. Oh. Um, I didn't get nad for speeding. Oh, yep. Yep, there it is. There it is. I got nad for speeding. All right. I'll go bite the I'll go serve this penalty here. Oh boy. All right. Here we go. Let's just do that. Oh, control disconnected. Let's just hope that's not... That's gonna... Okay, so the whole plan backfired. Okay, try it again. Try it again. Nope. Okay. Ah, no, damn it. They're gonna nab me for speeding again, aren't they? I'm gonna be two laps down. All right. I'll find out in a, I'll find out once I get to turn two if they're going to nail me for speeding again. And they are not. Okay, so I'm barely a lap down. And I mean barely a lap down. Meanwhile, Gillen's like on the the lap, probably the last car on the lead lap. So what I'm going to need to have, what I'm going to have to hope and pray happens is that we actually cycle through to like the end of the race and hope to God that that I manage to somehow get back on the lead lap when Dale Jr. pits. Oh yeah, they got like three cars on pit road. Four, actually. So I can actually gain some spots here. That's actually not bad. So maybe my strategy actually did work out in the end. I mean, yeah, I'm a lap down, and I'm about to probably fall a second one down. Fall down to a second lap, but I'm not worried about that. For now. Oh, those weren't for a position, actually. Damn. I was kind of hoping they were. Oh, well. Okay, good news. I've actually caught up to 42nd and 41st again. So they're actually on, my, on the same lap count as I am. Ooh, okay, rumble strip. Okay, did not want to touch that. Huh. 
Okay, I don't know why it's saying that... Oh, are they actually on a lap ahead of me? They're probably on the lead lap. Yeah, that probably will explain it. No, that's Waltrip and uh, Rudiman that are... No, that's not Waltrip and Rudiman. Uh, that's Waltrip and uh, Bowman I'm actually chasing down. And that's not even going to be for position. If I can catch him, I'll be surprised. Okay, so yeah, that's 30th. I'm, I'm looking for 40... First and 42nd. Okay, wall trip. Buddy. Okay, let's be civil about this, man. Okay, there's Dale Jr. in my rear view mirror. Not sure if he's getting bigger or if he's getting smaller. Well, I'm going side by side with Wall Trip down the back stretch here. Nope. Almost at him. I'm actually surprised. The setup's not bad. The setup I got is not bad. It's just not really good either. Oop. And whatever that was came flying right off my car and. Actually did pretty got a good run off of turn one. Okay, Wall Trip, I'm on your outside. Wall Trip, watch your outside. Watch your outside. And to my surprise, I almost passed Wall Trip there. Ah! Why are we making contact? That is not what I want. Oh dear. Ow. Stop saving! Okay! Ah, ah, ah. Oh. Caution's out! Why? Because I had... Because I slapped the wall! Okay, well, hold on, here's the replay. I was bobbling off a of turn four, came sliding in front of Keselowski, boom! Into the pit barrels! Well, my race was already ruined as it was. So now I'm two laps down. I'm gonna have to pit. Look at that nose of the car. It looks so good until I hit the pit barrels. I'm very certain everyone's pitting. Which throws my strategy of get to the front as soon as possible out the window. I'm surprised they haven't even cleaned up the barrels yet. Uh, four tires. Yes, repair the fuel. Uh, no, fill the, fill the car. Repair the damage. Um... I'm gonna go down on wedge. Actually, is it up on wedge or is it down on wedge to tighten up the car? I think it's up. No, down. And then I'm gonna up go up around on the track on on the track bar as well. See what, how that helps out. All right, almost done. Almost done with service. Okay, go! All right, so Kurt Busch, Denny Hamlin, row one. Row two, Alex Bowman and Dale Hart Jr. Row three, Joey Logano and Casey Kane. Row four, Martin Truex Jr. and Clint Boyer. Rounding out the top ten in row five is Brad Keselowski and Ryan Newman. I'm still going to be 43rd. Uh, actually, they gave me 12 spots on pit road. I'm going to come off 31st. Whatever. No, wait. I'm still going to be 43rd. Um, okay, I don't know why they're putting me in 32nd or so. But yeah, look at all those cars behind me. Not bad. Yeah, I got a two-lap gap between me and the race leader, which is Kurt Busch at this point in time. All right, pace cars in. Kurt Busch is going to lead us to the green flag. Green flag is back in the air. We are back underway here in Pocono Raceway at the Pocono 400.
All right, Denny Hamlin took the wheel, uh, took the lead away from Kurt Busch on once the green flag flew. As Clickerman makes contact with me, some for whatever reason, when I have done nothing to him. Okay. Oh, I sent mirrors up into the wall. And somehow they're racing three wide in front of me. And now I'm somehow in the middle of three wide myself. Okay. Oh, Mears is around. I'm sliding up the racetrack. Saved it. Okay. Casey Kane right now has the lead here at Pocono. Yeah, Casey Kane actually won here in like 2013, I want to say. Yeah, it was 2013 because, and I think it was the June race because Jeff Gordon had a bad restart and Casey Kane launched off into turn number one with the, launched off into turn number one, took the lead and just kind of never looked back with it. 2013 was not a bad year for, for NASCAR, racing at, at least with the Gen 6. It was the first year, so I kind of expected the product to kind of take a dip. Especially since teams were figuring out the new car and all that. And then 2014, the racing was better. Not great, not the best, but it was better. Honestly, the one of the best years of the Gen 6 era. Um, then 2015, oh, good lord, 2015 was a disaster. And then 2016 was another good year. 2017 was okay. Not bad, not good, did have its moments. As Yelly goes down pit road. And then 2018, oh good, jumping Jesus. If 2018 did not pick up in the second half of the season, it would have been 2015 levels of bad. And then 2019 was a mixed bag. I'm just going to say that right now. Like, there were tracks where the 2019 package worked and didn't work. I'm actually surprised I'm actually keeping pace with, with like, cars that, that are a lap ahead of me. Dale Earnhardt Jr. is leading the race again. That's good for him. Larson's got the, fest, the best lap out of 48.5. Ambrose to the lead. Well, there's something you don't see every day. Yeah, they're on lap 22, and I'm still, like, fighting on lap 20. Just kind of minding my own business, logging laps, and just kind of racing cold wet. For no reason. Just to be competitive. Just to show off that I can be competitive at least, kind of. Oh, God, he just... Oh, God, what just turned me? He just straight up turned me. Where's the caution? Where the hell was the caution flag? Oh, my God, now I can't drive and Cole Witt. Oh, my God, Cole Witt fucked my race over. Go, drive. Oh, my fucking God. Where's the caution game? I'm trying to get off the... Oh, my God. I am so mad right now. Ah! Oh, there's the caution. Oh, my God. What the fuck was that bullshit? That was bullshit, and the game knows it. Cole went, turned me, put me in the wall. You think the caution would come out? Nope. Just nope. Literally took me driving away from the wall and turn. Oh my fucking god! I'm gonna stay out. All right. So Marcus Ambrose, Martin Truex Jr. Row one, row two, Clint Boyer and Dale Earnhardt Jr. Row three, Kyle Busch and Casey Kane. Row four, Joey Logano and Kevin Harvick rounding out the top ten in row five. Ryan Newman and Carl Edwards. And of course, I didn't get any of my laps back. 
<sighs> Which means staying out meant nothing. And everyone is still two laps ahead of me. Oh, by the way, Marcus Ambrose is leading us to the green flag. Green flag is back in the air. We're back on our way here in the Pocono 400. Wait, I actually made passes? Oh, dear. Well, I didn't mean to do that to Casey Mears, but... Bump and run. He saved it. But no, seriously, look at this. I'm racing side by side with David Gilliland. If I was actually on the lead lap, that would actually be for a position. Oh, my God. Ah! And we turned down to Patrick, and I go around. No, ah, but I saved it. Ah, no, never mind. Mears punted my ass because he was not happy with me. Oh my god. Yeah, there's Casey Mears. Oh, and that into the wall with her. Oh. Oh. All right. I'm going to try to sing out again, see what happens. Martin Truex Jr., Marcus Ambrose, row one, row two, Dale Earnhardt Jr., and Casey Kane, row three, Kyle Busch and Ryan Newman. Row four, Joy Legano and Brian Vickers, Jamie, Mc Jamie McMurray and Austin Dillon round out the top ten in row five. And I got the free pass. I'm a lap down. Hallelujah. There's a God. Okay. So I just need to get. I just need another caution to come out. I'm back on the lead lap. I just need one more caution. Okay. Pace cars back down pit road. True XG is going to lead us to the green flag. It's back in the air. We are back underway here in the Pocono 400. Whoa. Oh, Lordy, what was Ruben doing? Oh, Lordy, there's getting three wide in front of me. Holy shit, I can actually pass race cars. Holy shit, I'm three wide with Boyer and Kislowski. What is this? And we still got like, what, six laps to go? Oh my god, Austin Dillon's leading as Boyer spins me out, and Mears comes with me. Ah! Well, that brings out fourth caution. And Ambrose is probably pounding his fist on the on the steering wheel like, you've got to be kidding me. Hey, didn't we see that wreck before? I swear we saw that one with Danica Patrick and Michael Lynette. All right. This is it. Okay, so it was Austin Dillon who would be pounding his fist. Staying out. Crossing my fingers, hoping for the best. Marcus Ambrose and Greg Biffle at row one. Row two, Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Casey Kane. Row three, Brian Vickers and Jamie McMurray. Row four, Kyle Larson and David Reagan. AJ Elmdinger and Eric Amarillo round out the top ten in row five. Yes! Back on the lead lap! Holy shit! Holy shit, I'm back on the lead lap. Good, now I can actually go for positions. Oh my sweet mother of Jesus, it actually worked. I don't know how I pulled that fucking shit off, but I did. Okay, four laps to go. Ambrose leads us to the green flag. Green flag is back in the air. We're back underway here in the Pocono 400 at, po at Long Pond, Pennsylvania. Here at the Pocono Raceway. Greg Biffle takes the lead. Bumping it out of the way. I'm doing a 42nd. All right, let's, now I got some work to do. Okay, why are you going behind Trevor Bain? Why are you going behind Joy Logano? Oh, no, you're not going behind Joy Logano. Okay. Hey, Logano. Oh, I couldn't quite give him the bump and run. Couldn't quite do it. Marcus Ambrose starting to drive away. Mm -mm, control disconnected. But at first, that's the first time the controller disconnected in a long while. Oh.
All right, three to go. Greg Biffle takes the lead. Oh, they're boggled up all like right, all right in front of me. Ambrose back to the lead over Biffle. All right, let's see if I can get at least a top 40 out of this. I'll be I'll be satisfied with that at least. Okay, oh, nope, nope. That's not gonna that's not gonna help my case. And that's just gonna look I'll drive away. Two to go for Marcus Ambrose. Casey Kane takes the lead going into one. And Ambrose takes it back off one. Yeah, Ryan Newman's taking the points lead off of this. Meanwhile... White flag going to be in the air this time by... Marcus Ambrose has the lead going into turn number one. Actually, no, not down into turn number one. Down the first. Casey King takes the lead going in. Headed for turn one. Off turn number one, Casey Kane has the lead. All right, they're headed for turn two. All right, Casey Kane off turn number three, down the front stretch. To the stripe, he'll go. Casey Kane is going to win the Pocono 400. As I'll come across the line in 40 seconds, it's just going to take me a while to get there. And there it is. Finally, we're done. Pack it up, boys. Let's go home. Pack it up. Let's go home. I'm not going to lie. I was actually surprised with how my setup worked. And once I made a couple more adjustments, I actually could stay with the other race cars and compete with them. And actually sometimes pass them, especially on restarts. That's saying something. Okay, well, let's go look at the race results. All right, Casey Kane wins the race, leading two laps in the process. Marcus Ambrose finishing second. Greg Biffle finishes third. Kyle Larson finishing fourth. Paul Menard fifth. Dale Earnhardt Jr. sixth. J.J. Yaley somehow finishes seventh. Eighth place, Brian Vickers. Ninth place, A.J. Almendinger. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. rounds out the top ten. Eleventh place, David Reagan. Twelfth place, Jamie McMurray. Thirteenth, Tony Stewart. Fourteenth, David Dillon. Eric Amarola, fifteenth. Sixteenth, Michael McDowell. Parker Cookham in seventh. Kurt Busch, eighteenth. Nineteenth, Matt Kenseth. Twentieth, Kevin Harvick. Twenty-first, Carl Edwards. Twenty-second, Josh Wise. Twenty-third, Danica Patrick. Twenty-fourth, Brad Keselowski. Twenty-fifth, Martin Truex Jr. Twenty-sixth, Kyle Busch. Twenty-seventh, Jimmy Johnson. Twenty-eighth, Austin Dillon. Twenty-ninth, Cole Witt. Joe Nemechek rounds out the top thirty. 31st, Alex Bowman. 32nd, Michael Waltrip. 33rd, Ryan Newman. 34th, Jeff Gordon. 35th, Clint Boyer. 36th, Landon Castle. 37th, Denny Hamlin. 38th, Dave Grudeman. Casey Mears. 39th, Joey Logano. 40th, Trevor Bain. 41st, I finish 42nd, and Michael Annette rounds out the field in 43rd. Okay, that's going to do it for the race. I will be back with the points standings. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, as you can see, with that win, we have a new points leader. Casey Kane up top by two points over me and three points over Ryan Newman, who is in third. 
Fourth place, Kurt Busch. Fifth place, Tony Stewart. Matt Kenseth in sixth. Seventh, Brad Keselowski. Eighth, Kyle Busch. Marcus Ambrose, ninth. Tenth, Ryan Vickers. Eleventh, Greg Biffle. Twelfth, Clint Boyer. Thirteenth, Jimmy Johnson. Fourteenth, Jeff Gordon. Fifteenth, Carl Edwards. Sixteenth, Jenny Hamlin. All right, where's the other winner? Austin Dillon right now in 26th. And that's the only other one we have to worry about. So, on that note, the first car out of the chase would be Denny Hamlin. Bye. We don't need you anyway. Anyway, that's going to do it for this race. Next time we, we race in NASCAR 14, it'll be at the Michigan Speedway for... I don't know what they called this race. Well, let's just go with the Pure Michigan 400. So anyway, I'll see you guys for the Pure Michigan 400 at Michigan the next time I race NASCAR 14. Thank you all for watching so much. Don't forget to keep on dancing. Move your feet to the beat. And remember, until we rock it again on the sound waves, I'm Ellen, and I'm out of here. I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Here comes the outro. I'll break it down now.